And because it's Friday, that means it is Freaky, Freaky Food Friday. Friday. I got snacks in my bag. 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 I merely rocked in my bag. What's up, man? It's your boy Snack King Cole, and I am here. I am beyond excited about what's going on today. As you see, I'm handheld, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm shaking and grooving because today is the first time I am actually, factually, actually cooking on the Snack King Cole channel. And I can, I cannot express how excited I am to do it with these two gentlemen right here. Curbside pickup. Curbside pickup! Bro, you suck, bro. I wanted to get it wrong. Nah, nah, I'm not getting it wrong. Boy, that, I, did it. I, I went two for two first, so. I'm and good. I went two for two, too. But not first. But you couldn't go two for two, too. I went two, two. So therefore, I'm the victor. I did it I first. went two for two, too. Doesn't matter. You so did do it first. So did Ray J. Uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> Work forever, bro. People, let me, let, me, let me tell you this. Let me tell you. Look at me. If you enjoy my content, please fly your little behind right over there to Curbside Pickup. Link will be in the description and pinned in the comments. You will definitely enjoy it. If you're going to trust me on anything, if you trust me to tell you if that burger is yummy or not, you can trust me on this. So if y'all know, I've been on here post my little TikToks. If you haven't seen my Snack King Cole shorts, they're usually just me cooking weird kind of concoctions on my TikTok. So my boy Keon hollered at me. He said, bruh, we do the same thing. So we decided to go ahead and freak out some French toast today. I forget what he's doing. He's doing something crazy over there, as always. But me, myself, you seen the silhouette challenge? Have you seen the silhouette? I'm going silhouette challenge on this thing. We're going red velvet French toast. <laughs> you serious, Clark? Oh, it's going it's going to get real sexy in here. You like romantic comedies? Then you at the right spot. Let's get to cooking. All right, as far as the ingredients, here we go. Oh, Oh, we getting good. We getting freaky tonight. Oh, we getting uncut. We got our eggs, milk, sugar, vanilla, cream cheese. It's been nice and softening. Some food coloring. Some, we got the vinegar out here because I didn't feel like going back to the store and getting buttermilk. So we gonna make some buttermilk, people. We got some cocoa. We got some Hershey chocolates for the drizzle. So we gonna melt chocolate today for the first time. Oh, we gonna, we gonna get freaky today. And then we got the brioche, the thick sliced brioche style. Bougie. We're gonna take the brioche style, thick slices of bread, cut them bad boys in half. Because when they're done toasting up, we're gonna put that vanilla bean cream cheese right there in the middle, slap that other half on top, drizzle that with chocolate, and I'm feeling like throwing some ice cream on there. I don't, I don't know how freaky they trying to get over there curbside. Pause. But we going to get freaky over here. Let's go ahead and start. Man, I messed around and had one of these slices of bread yesterday. This is so yummy. I've never had this kind of bread before. Usually I get like a French toast, uh, regular French toast. The, the French toast bread or maybe some Texas toast. It's kind of got like a sweet little taste to it too, man. So I'm excited. Look at that bad boy. That's two pieces. Boom, 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 boom. I got bread, boy. Uh, uh. All right, so we, we ain't going to make too much. You know what I mean? We ain't going to get too crazy because it's just me. I already made some wings for the night. If you didn't see that, that's a short I just dropped not too long ago. Cut that bad boy right in half. Bad. Bad. Now that we got that done, let's make our egg. Um, uh, wash? Whatever. Now it's time to make the wash. Shallow dish. One egg. Oh, was that a whole shell? Oh, no. Two eggs. 
three egg. Come on. Now we need to make our buttermilk. So we're gonna get them one cup of the milk. One tablespoon of vinegar. And then you let that just sit and chill for a minute. Two tablespoons of sugar. Now you see now. Uh, well, this is embarrassing. So, um, I was putting in the vanilla in here and I accidentally hit stop. And then I went back to hit play, but I guess I did hit play and I thought I was recording the whole time I was putting this together and then it went to my home screen. So pretty much, just to let you know, there's some uh, cocoa powder in here, obviously. Here's your eggs. I got red food coloring. It's, you see it's kind of coming through in here. Uh, sugar, what else did I put in here? And I, and I ended up showing you guys, <laughs> I showed you guys how you could tell if the, uh, if the buttermilk was done and as you see on this stuff it's kind of curled up a little bit if you didn't know you know what i mean you could simply make buttermilk like that so when you see recipes and they're calling buttermilk don't 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 fret if you got milk and you got some vinegar always keep some vinegar because vinegar is like it's something that ah, i'm talking too much anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna turn off one time and stir this up real quick because i need i feel like i need both hands i need to get in it so give me a sec one eternity later all right so yo I, my back hurts <laughs> and it's still looking like this bro so i looked up and they suggest putting in a little uh, bullet and uh letting it, letting the bullet do the work for you so that's what we gonna do so uh when i come back it should be velvety red all right look at that now it's not as red as i want it to be and i added some more uh food coloring to it let's see what happens all right, so I just flipped them over. Oof, I don't know, man. We might be doing something here, people. We might be doing something. And with the power of editing, I could take this and turn it into this. Oh, just that easy. Just that easy. All right, so we're going to wait for this to bubble up a little bit for me. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and throw some butter on this thing right here. We got our nice softened cream cheese let's throw that in the bowl all right some sugar a little bit of that vanilla extract in there mash that up and stir that up can't really tell in the picture but it has a nice little tint to it so i'm getting little bubbles in my water so i'm actually going to turn that down a little bit let that simmer throw that bad boy on top Let's see if this works. I've never done this before. All right, we melted a little bit. We melted a little bit. Let's see what happens. Hey, mama, look what I can do. And then that's over here sizzling, sounding good, man. It's smelling yummy in this kitchen. I ain't gonna lie. All right, let's just turn these bad boys over. You see a little crispiness on the edges. It's smelling really good. Nice touch to it. Tell you the truth, all truth and doubt, man. I think I make French toast maybe like that handful of times in my life chocolate is done though so we're gonna take that off now you gotta make sure you wipe off the edges and stuff like that because that water i guess can still mess with it too so a little lesson for you kids all right man these are smelling yummy i think these are done chocolate syrup over here got my inside mixture right there let's assemble First, you're gonna put that first one down. Look at the crispiness on that. Can we just take a second? Can we just take a second to look at that? Dang, son. You're gonna put your, you're gonna put your stuff like that right there on there. I can't do it with one hand occupied, so we'll be right back. Like so. Then I'm just gonna put one more on top of that bad boy. Like so. Look at that. And then repeat. Alright, it's that time, man. Uh, got my ice cream here. 
mix my ice cream up in it, let, let, let it get everywhere real quick. It's hardening up that uh, uh, that chocolate too, that's kind of dope. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's go. Little red velvet with the ice cream. Let's do it. I went a little heavy on the uh, the cream cheese. Probably add a little bit more vanilla to that thing. The massage there. Yo, this is it. Mmm. The, the crunch from that chocolate. You wasn't even expecting that. Like, where did that come from? Oh, welcome to the party. It's like somebody just uh, bought a plus one. The plus one got a bot. Come on in. Yo, this was fire. Um, I would definitely just go one layer of cream cheese. I probably didn't need that top layer of cream cheese, but I'm greedy sometimes, man. The ice cream went with it very well. French vanilla was what I like to recommend. Throw that chocolate on there, man. That chocolate gave it like an extra crunch you didn't even know was coming. Yo, this was fire. This was definitely fire, man. Shout out to Curbside Pickup. Um, if, you, if you're if you new here from Curbside Pickup, I appreciate you. If you kind of like what you've seen, take a look around, man. You know what I mean? You don't have to buy just yet. But you know what I mean? Take a look around. See if you like it. You know what I mean? Then we can talk. We can talk. Uh, if not, it's your boy Snack King. Cole, I'll cook it before you try it. I cooked it. Go try it, Get a candy out my way. I got the baby roof and all the Kit Kats too. So if you got a sweet tooth, holla at me, dude. <laughs> <laughs>